shot. So, oh well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with Wednesday night, watch me live Wednesday. Have you noticed what I'm standing in front of? It is my dream box. So last Wednesday, you guys saw my brother, my husband, my sister-in-law bringing in the dream box and setting it up. And over the last week, so we had like a, week, a wedding we had to go to. And over the last week or two, I'm sorry, week or two, over the last few days, like not even a week, I have been putting it together and figuring out how I wanted to organize it. And so this is what it turned out to be. So you guys will have to leave a comment down below and let me know if you like my dream box and the look of it. So I organized it. Um, all the goodies are inside and in every bin is a piece of scrapbook paper that I just kind of cut to kind of give it a little bit different of a design element. You can leave it without that. You can actually leave it clear where you can see all of your things. Um, I just, I decided to leave it open. And so I wanted it to be organized and beautiful at the same time. So I kind of came up with this with the different papers. So this is what, um, I have. So if you have questions about the dream box, just leave a comment down below. I'm happy to share about the dream box um, with you. I'm going to fix a light right here. This is like beaming right into my face. And so I just wanted to lower it a little bit. I don't know. Is that too dark though? Can you guys still see me? I think you can. Okay. So Shamrocks, St. Patrick's Day is coming and I did a poll on one of my um, posts within the last like week or two. If you guys wanted to see Shamrock Crafts, if you wanted to um, see something that you could decorate for St. Patrick's Day. So today's live, today's craft live is a St. Patrick's Day themed craft or DIY. So I'm going to be making a St. Patrick's Day shamrock for you guys but i'm not going to be doing it in the typical green now i am wearing a shamrock shirt which i do have in the crafty life mom shop i don't even know if you can see it i know my lighting is a little weird today um and i think it's because i've moved to this wall but we are going to be making a shamrock today using a dollar tree shamrock wooden um what do you call this? Like a wooden blank or a wooden sign? We're gonna be painting this today. I got the idea from a um, wooden sign that I saw at Big Lots. I think they were selling it for like 12 bucks. It was a painted shamrock and I was like, you know what? I can make that easier using things from the Dollar Tree. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Before I get started with that, I do wanna show you this super cute beaded garland that I made today. Let me see if I can get it up into the camera. This is a beaded garland. Look how cute this turned out. Where you can drape this um, like on a tear tray, like as a centerpiece or your coffee table. It says Lucky on it in that Ray Dunn font. Wait, do I have it backwards? There you go. Lucky on it. And I have this uh, rainbow ribbon. So this is super cute. I just uh, created some of these. They're limited in the shop and you can get them from Crafty Life Mom or shop.craftylifemom.com. I do have an unlimited amount of those. So if you're interested in something like that or you want to decorate with this um, in your home, then check those out for sure. So speaking of that, I'm thinking of actually offering craft kits where I actually go around, I gather up all the supplies for two to three crafts and then ship it to your home. 
and within a set date or time after receiving the items to make the craft, I will go live in a private Facebook group and actually craft those projects with you. So you'll be purchasing the kit and the supplies and then I will craft with you guys live in a private group. If you are interested in something like that, then please share this live. Even if you're sharing it after the live is over, share it because within a couple of days, I'm gonna look to see who has shared the live. Put a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in something like that. And for those who share, will be entered into a drawing to win a free craft kit. So I'd be curious to know if that's something you are interested in. Leave a comment down below. And if you are, leave a comment and share it and you'll be entered to win your first craft kit free. So I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be fun. It'd be like two or three items that you can use around your home and do for a home decor type of thing. I will gather up all the supplies and ship it to you and then we will get together and craft. So let's go ahead and get started. The shamrock, um, like I said, that I'm going to be doing today is this wooden shamrock. And I have pre-penciled um, it off into some striped out lines right here. And what I'm going to do is be painting these in a rainbow order. So while I go ahead and get that going, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my um, craft paints that I have here and just kind of squirt them out onto a paper plate. I did this a little bit earlier, but these are dried up now, so I just need to go back and refill this. And then I'm going to be painting stripes on my shamrock. So we're not gonna have a traditional green shamrock. We're gonna have a rainbow shamrock. And then from the Dollar Tree, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but I kind of broke mine, so I'm gonna show you pieces of it. They have right now these like shamrock wreath things where it was like a bunch of little shamrocks that made like a circle. You can see like I broke mine. I don't know why Dollar Tree did not actually put out a pack of these wooden cuts of shamrocks. That would have been really cute. Dollar Tree, if you're listening, probably not. But anyway, I would have loved to have some wooden shamrock cutouts. But they did have this wreath on here, okay? This wreath with these shamrocks. So they had this option or this circular small shamrock thing that had this tag on it like that. So I don't know if that's familiar. Well, I just wanted this piece right here because this is the piece I'm going to be attaching to my shamrock uh, hanger. It's like a door hanger that we're making. So I want to personalize this and then I'm gonna have the rainbow shamrock in the background. So what I was thinking was of painting this white and then maybe putting like a trim around it and a glitter. I'm not normally a fan of glitter, but I might make an exception for the glitter tonight for the shamrock since a St. Patrick's Day craft was requested. I figured I can't go wrong with a little bit of glitter. Um, the other thing while I'm filling up my little palette here is that I cannot remember where I saw this at, but look how cute this little sign is. It's a rainbow and it says little one, dream big, super cute for like a baby nursery. But I was also thinking since St. Patrick's Day is in mind, there's like green everywhere. And I love green, don't get me wrong, it's even one of my son's favorite colors. But too much green is just too much green. So that's why I'm kind of going with the rainbow theme a little bit trickled in with the green. I don't want too much rainbow anywhere, but I just thought it would be different and it's something that really hasn't been done before. So we're gonna paint a rainbow shamrock. If you're just joining me, we're gonna paint a shamrock from the Dollar Tree, these wooden cut ones, and I'm going to stripe it out into a rainbow-like color wheel. I don't know if you wanna call it that. So what I've done is I went ahead and took my tag off my top of my shamrock and then just using a ruler, I kind of spaced out and pre-did the lines that um, I kind of wanted it. I wanted to go with six colors, but I kind of ended up with seven. So the rainbow normally goes from like red to purple, green, blue, 
orange, but we're gonna throw in pink because I love pink and why not? We're gonna add it to the rainbow today, okay? So, I've got just about all of my colors um, put here and I'm gonna start with the red stripe. I have different, um, or maybe we'll start with pink and then I'll paint the red. So I have different little tools and paintbrushes here. Nothing specific, nothing too crazy. I just grabbed them out of my drawer that I have here. I actually have a drawer in my dream box, guys, with nothing but paint stuff in it. So that's why I love this thing because it's like all right here at an arm's reach and it just closes right back up into a cabinet. So I've got some of these paint brushes. I'm just gonna start with the pink and I'm just going to paint my shamrock stripes. And I pre like sketched them out. I just traced with a pencil the lines so I could kind of see as a guide where I wanted my uh, stripes to kind of go. And this is a really easy project we're gonna do today. I don't even think I will be on the whole time unless it takes forever for the paint to dry. But, so I'm just painting the shamrock and I just, like I said, I put the pencil lines there as a guide. You might see them on the lighter colors. So if you're not a fan of that, you might wanna go back and make sure it's not there. I think I'm gonna kinda of actually like the pencil marks because it's gonna give it that rustic, like farmhouse shiplap look. So. This is what I'm doing. I'm making a stripe, and I didn't do it straight up and down. I did it at an angle, because we're gonna make the whole shamrock a rainbow. So, let me get this first bit of pink on here, and I will show you guys a little bit more of what I mean with the angling of the rainbow shamrock thing here. Okay, so this is what I got right here. And I said we were adding pink to the rainbow because I love pink, why not? But normally it's the six colors, red, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange. But I have seven slats on my shamrock, so we're doing pink. Okay, so now that the pink is done, I'm just gonna go back and put red at the beginning of this where you see the little lip there. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the red where it's supposed to go. And I just did it with the same brush as my pink so that I didn't have to waste another brush. That's another thing too about paints. You can get away with using the same brush for multiple colors, just as long as they're like in the same family. Do the lighter one first before you do the darker one. And then that way you won't even be able to tell that you had two colors on the same brush. Okay, so I'm just going back now and I'm adding in the red on the edge of my shamrock. So, this is what I've got so far. We're going rainbow on the shamrock. Now remember, I said I bought the other little piece, which I broke. Um, I broke it on purpose, guys. But it's a shamrock wreath that had, like it was connected shamrocks all around. It had this piece on it right here. And I'm gonna paint this white because I pre-cut out a decal that says the word lucky. Now here's the thing, you can cut this on your own. I specifically traced out this font myself. You can find similar fonts if you have a Cricut or Silhouette, but I am not made this font, but I used two different fonts and put it together to kind of make it this thicker looking Ray Dunn-like font. You can totally get this SVG cut file for free in the shop.craftylifemom.com um, shop. You just have to put in the code LUCKY and it will actually let you check out with the SVG file for free. And there's an SVG file in there and a PDF if you just rather um, mod podge on the decal versus actually cut one. And that's something I wanted to share last time. If you do not have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine where you can actually cut this, then you can use the PDF or JPEG version, print it out, cut it very close to design, and then Mod Podge it in or on top of where you want it to go, and it will almost look exactly the same, just depending on how much you put over top. Just do a really thin coat of it on the top. So since I'm going to be doing um, 
this tag on top of it, I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to do that same trick because I only pulled out a few brushes. I'm going to paint my tag white and then I'm going to go back to where my yellow will be on my shamrock, okay? And so I'm just going to paint my tag white so that this has time to dry in order for me to actually put my lucky decal on it. Um, and one tip about paint and wood with vinyl. So if you paint any kind of wood and then you want to put a vinyl decal on it, the trick to getting the vinyl to stick is to have a really thin coat of paint or a couple thin layers of paint. If you glop it on too much, your decal is not going to stick. Or if you do like a top coat, it's not going to stick. Trust me, I know this all too well. And it can become very frustrating and it makes the project a little more tedious. So just do a thin coat if you're going to be putting a decal on wood, okay? Fun tip for you there. So this is just my tag and at this point I'm not even putting on extra paint. I'm just like brushing it off to kind of help it dry. So there's my little tag that's going to go on top of my shamrock like that once we get the whole rainbow painted. Isn't that super cute? I think it's going to be really cute. Okay. Moving on, I'm gonna go to my yellow stripe on my shamrock. And while I'm doing that, if you're just tuning in, um, earlier I talked about doing a craft kit. So if you're interested in any of the crafts that I make, I'm thinking about putting up on the website some craft kits that you can purchase. I will gather up all the supplies for two to three craft projects for you to decorate for your home for let's say the next holiday will be Easter. So I would gather up the supplies and materials from all the different stores and all the different places to make three crafts to decorate your home for Easter and then um, ship them out to you. And then in a private Facebook group would go live second to this live and we would make those three specific crafts together and I would show you how to make, um, you know, do the different techniques or how you can personalize them to fit your home or whatever. Um, if you're interested in something like that, can you just leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something you would be interested in. I'm always getting asked if I offer classes and I haven't really done any live classes but I could do something like that. Or if you want something in your local, then maybe we could do something like that as well. But I just thought that that would be something kind of fun, especially if you're not local, we could have a craft night together in a private Facebook group and we make all the same crafts. I could also do it where you get kits and it's pre-made. I don't know if you want that too. It's kind of hard to know because I think I have different um, friends in this group that want certain things like some of you want it already done and some of you want to craft with me which I am down for either one actually I love to make all the things and I love to correct collect the crafty friends okay so I'm still just moving along with my colors on my rainbow shamrock here trying to stay really close to my pencil lines without going over and you guys, this is going to be a bright rainbow shamrock. Like, this is going to be a cheery, happy sh shamrock. And I just thought this would be cute, different than your traditional green shamrock. And how fun would it be to just to paint a rainbow, right? I love doing this. Okay, so I am just now putting on the orange. And I see that there's some comments going. Okay, so that I don't, I can't read all of them, but if you're interested in the craft kits, okay, I, I'm going to do this. If you share this live right now, um, I will put your name in a drawing for a free one. So if you want to get in on the craft kits, you have a potential opportunity to get one free, sent to your home, shipping and all. I will send you three crafts you can make. And all you have to do to be entered into that is to share this live 
and then we will get together and we will craft, okay? And listen, on the craft kits, because it's gonna be the first time I'm offering it, it's gonna be very limited. I'm not going to sell a lot of them. I'm going to limit how many I can do um, the first go around just to kind of test it and see how it works. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, then you guys are the lucky ones who got to craft <laughs> with me. All right, so here's a look at the rainbow shamrock right now as I'm painting it. What do you guys think? You think this is gonna be cute? Is it too much, too bright? Does it look like a classroom? I don't really know. So put a comment down below and let me know what you think about my shamrock, okay? All right, so the next color is going to be green, which I kind of have a lime green here, but I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more of the shamrock green. This color is, I don't even know, bright green. <laughs> bright green, could have guessed, okay? And we're gonna paint the green stripe, so this will be the only green on our shamrock, all right? And I'm just lining it up right here next to my yellow. Trying not to Go over on my lines. And I'm just using basic acrylic paint. This little paint set that I have here that you see on the table, I just picked it up from Walmart for like 10 bucks just the other day. I have tons and tons of crafts acrylic paints, but I was cleaning out my stash when I was reorganizing the dream box, which is what you see behind me. And I just thought, you know, I just want a simple rainbow, all the same uniform craft paints. I normally don't use all of the acrylic paints. I kind of use a lot of these, which I don't know if you can see it. You can't, can you? Oh, this opens it up even further. Um, I use the Waverly chalk paint, which is in the door panel there um, of my dream box, which I just got. Last week's live was me showing um, that opening it up from the box and I have spent the last few days organizing it and putting all of my supplies in there which has been a fun 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 process and I actually created a video today where um, I'm showing what's inside my box so look for that because I'll be posting that really soon okay all right okay so here's what the shamrock's looking like now in my rainbow Moving on to blue. Let's see, what do I have for blue? I'm gonna use just a foam brush. Like I said, I've gathered up just about, I don't know, five or six of these different brushes and I'll clean them later after this. But I'm just getting the paint on there and we are having a rainbow shamrock, Lucky Charm Rainbow. I really think my kids are gonna like this because it's so bright and colorful, has a lot of the primary colors in it, which is also good um, as well. So I'm getting to the very end here and I'm just making sure I go really straight. That's kind of why I got quiet because it's easier for me to be quiet and get a straight line, I guess. Eek. Okay, so what do you guys think of the craft kit? Are you liking those? Someone said shared. Okay, great. So I know some of you are interested in the craft kits. Awesome. We will have to get on that. So if you're interested in them, tell me what kind of crafts would you like to make or what kind of decor would you like to make? It's not going to be thing, anything difficult. Like you're not going to need a craft cutting machine. If there's anything that requires like a decal or some sort of craft cutting, I will provide the decals for you in the craft kit so you don't even have to worry about that. Um, if you're interested in the craft kits, it's also not gonna have like any sewing, I don't think. I'm not a big sewer. I do a lot of embroidery, but I don't do a lot of sewing. So you don't have to have any fear of having any sort of skills for sewing or craft cutting machine but I promise what we're gonna make will be just as cute and easy and fun to do and you can also personalize it I have a couple ideas in mind of what will be in the craft kits but I also would like your input like 
what would you want to see? What would you want to see in a craft kit? What would you want to kind of help decorate your home for the season? And the first ones are going to be um, spring Easter. So that's going to be really fun. We'll get a couple of things made for you to actually put around your home and celebrate the spring Easter season. So, all right. So my shamrock is painted in the rainbow. We're gonna let that dry, but I'm just gonna hold it up and show it to you first. Here it is, look at that rainbow shamrock. I think this is super cute. Now you can leave it just like this, but we're gonna go a little bit further. So there is a hole at the top. You could do some kind of like hanger here. You could do a beaded garland. You could put the twine back in whatever it is that you want to do with it. And since um, this is wet paint, I'm just gonna fan it a little bit to kind of help it dry. Because we are live and you don't wanna see me <laughs> fanning a shamrock all day long, right? So yeah, this is gonna be super cute. Okay, so remember, I've got color paint on my hands. Remember I painted, this um, white piece that came on the other wreath earlier, and it is pretty much dry, so that's why I painted it first. This is gonna go on the front of the shamrock here to kind of mask down the brightness of the rainbow. <laughs> I love the rainbow, but it is bright. So this little guy is gonna go right here on there, and I have a decal that I said that you guys can get this free. You just have to type in the word lucky and it will let you check out what the SVG for free. You can use it in your cutting machine to get one. So I went ahead and pre-made the decal. It says lucky and I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the um, backing off of this decal. This is normal what you do if you get any decal or if you do any kind of cups, things like that. You guys know how these work. It's just like a sticker. And I'm going to place it down in the middle. Now, I probably could have made this a little bit bigger and spaced it out, but it is what it is. So I like it, though. I like the way it's turning out. So look right here. This is my, oh, let me get this extra paint off of the edge. This is my lucky word right here. And then I'm thinking I should add a little bit of glitter. I'm not a big glitter fan. But in this case, I'm willing to make an exception when it comes to home decor. I'm just not a big glitter person. I like the farmhouse, more rustic look, but I feel like this is more of a kids enjoy like craft decor type of item. I don't know why I feel like that, but that's just how I feel. So I have two choices. I have this green gold glitter or just have regular gold. And I think I was gonna ask you guys what you thought, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the green, just because I don't have a lot of green going on. Um, I do have a lot of my glues in here to glue this on. I could do regular school glue. I might even just turn on the hot glue gun and do hot glue because why not, that's easy. I do have Elmer's glue, but I believe it or not, I do not have it anywhere in this cabinet behind me. I actually have like two bottles of it in our home and it's in the homework cart that I have for my kids. We actually have a cart that's like stocked up with their crowns, their kid friendly scissors, not mom's craft scissors, um, Elmer's school glue, glue sticks, pencils, like little sharpeners and notebooks, extra paper, all in a little cart for homework and we just wheel it up to the dining table and they do their homework in at the table from all the utensils and supplies from the homework cart. So they don't have to go into my craft stash. So if you've got kids, get a homework cart if you do not have one. Okay, so my pup just ran up to me and she's like looking, what does she have? I think she got a hold of something. So that's gonna be interesting. All right, so my shamrock is still drying if you've just tuned in or whatever. We painted a rainbow shamrock, okay? And we have this lucky word that's gonna go right on front of it. And I'm gonna glue this on in just a minute. I'm gonna get a little bit more time to dry. 
And then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glitter detailing on it. Now I do want, I was thinking what would be really fun would to be um, add a bow, but I'm not really sure you guys, maybe you need to help me. So I have some different ribbons here. These are all Dollar Tree. This is like a dark green burlap ribbon. I pre-cut some out to kind of just make a messy bow, like a raggy type bow. What do you guys think? And put this, let me see if I can get it in front of the camera. What do you guys think of this type of a bow? Like just go ahead and put, I don't know, put this on my shamrock? I'm not sure. What do you, tell me in the comments what you think about my messy bow. Like would it take away from the shamrock? Let me see, I'll get it in front of the camera. Yes bow or no bow? You guys tell me, I don't know. Wait, let me back it up, can you see? At the top, maybe, or is it too busy? Maybe without the rainbow ribbon in it? It's kind of hard to know. So when you're crafting any kind of decor piece, where I'm planning to kind of hang this is we have pantry doors and it's right off the side of where our coffee bar is. My coffee bar is the only place I'm actually decorating for St. Patrick's Day. I only have like maybe two or three, four things that are St. Patrick's Day themed. So that little piece of furniture is the St. Patrick's Day decoration in my home. It is in the middle because it's right off the kitchen, but the rest of my house is actually just spring and Easter everything. But because it's fun for my kids to kind of celebrate and they do like a little thing at school, I am putting a little sprinkle of St. Patrick's Day decor there. So that's the reason why I'm creating this. So when I came up with this idea, I was thinking of a door hanger that could kind of just hang on the pantry door and kind of be St. Patty's Day themed. Since everything to the left of it is green, that is why I kind of went with this rainbow thing or like a pot of gold or, you know, this rainbow idea um, for the door hanger. So I think the bow might be okay, like off to the side of this thing, I don't know. What I'm gonna do first is go ahead and glitter the lucky word, and then you guys can tell me what you think about that, okay? I'll be looking in the comments. Yes, okay, you guys tell me though, nobody's commenting on the glitter. Comment if I should, if I should put the bow or no bow, okay? Cause this might be kinda crazy. All right, so for the glitter, I am doing hot glue, ha ha. I'm just going to make a thin little line, tracing the ribbon. And I've never done this with hot glue. I've never done glitter in hot glue. This is the first time and I'm doing it live. So bear with me on that. It'll be quite interesting. Let's see how this looks, okay? It might be a complete fail. It might not be a fail. We'll find out together. Okay. It's... Oh, this is gonna work. You guys, totally do hot glue and glitter. This is awesome. This is better than waiting for the Elmer's glue to dry. What? I should have thought of this sooner. Okay, look at that. Okay, except for the glue gun strings, which kind of get glittered as well. Look how cute that turned out. Let me get in front of the camera. Okay, this is super cute. There's my shamrock glittered. I got a glue string right here. But look, it's like almost dry. This beats Elmer's glue and glitter any day of the week. Any day. Look at this. Super cute, okay? So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll be ready to hot glue my little banner on to the shamrock rainbow. The only thing about this is if you do too much, because I just did it right there on the end, might kind of look funny. Just saying, but for, you know, cute little home decor purposes, this works out really well. I'm not a fan of glitter, but I'm liking hot glue and glitter, guys. Has anybody else tried that? Have you ever done that? I don't know. I don't know, but this is.
is super cute. Okay. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. So stinking cute. Okay. I'm liking it even more, and I wasn't too sure about it in the beginning, but I think this is going to be fun. Okay, so my shamrock, just so you can see it one more time, it's pretty much dry. So now I'm just going to place where I want my lucky word to go, my lucky banner. Um, oh, I hope that glitter does not spill. I'm going to have to get that put away before my kids come home. Okay, so I'm thinking like kind of in the middle, upper, upper middle section. And I'm just going to put the glue all down the back. And of course, I ran out of glue. So bear with me, let me grab another stick out of here. This is where I keep my glue, guys, in this bin. Loving it, loving the green box. All right, here we go. Glue's ready. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put some big globs of it on the back of this little banner thing. And then smack it down on the top. Pull my strings, oh, it's steaming. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just Line this up like so. Pull my strings out of the way and just press it down. Super cute. I really love the way this turned out. This looks better than the one that I saw in the store. If you don't know, if you came in at the end, at the beginning, I said um, I got inspired for this DIY from a sign that I saw in a store and said, you know what, I can totally make that with Dollar Tree products. So this was two Dollar Tree shamrocks and shamrock wreath that had the wooden banner. I ripped the wood banner off, put a decal on it, and put a little bit of glitter with hot glue. It's my new favorite thing. And I just rainbow painted my shamrock. You guys, look how cute this is. Do you love it? What do you think? I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know. So should I put a bow? I do have this right here. Here, let me get my hand out of the way so I don't burn my pinky because I just did a little bit. Okay, so I have a couple pieces of ribbon right here. I just kind of like flop them together and I thought about making a cute little raggy type bow and adding it to my shamrock. Yes or no? Let me put it close and you guys just tell me. Bow or no bow? Wait, I have it, I'm so awkward on here. Bow or no bow on the shamrock? Yes? No? I don't know. I can't decide if I like the bow on there or not. I feel like it almost takes away above the lucky word maybe? No, I don't, I don't know guys. I'm kind of feeling it like this. I just, I don't know. What do you think? Bow or no bow? Leave a comment. I'm looking for your comments. Okay, Christy, I saw where you said you are loving the most awesome glue gun. Where did you get it from? So the glue gun, it just burnt my pinky. <laughs> Be careful, it is hot. Um, and you know what? I Let me show you guys. I Can you see in my camera here? Look, you see how my cabinet opens further? Okay, and it has it on the other side as well. Just so you know, I have, I shared these last time in the last live. These little things that I found, yes, at the Dollar Tree in their little craft section that's kind of popping up. These little pink finger majiggers, I totally should have had these on. I forgot, I wouldn't have been burnt. Well, actually I probably would have because I just burnt my pinky, but these things are three to a pack, and they're supposed to protect your fingers. So my pinky is like burning now. But anyway, um, glue gun is a Ryobi glue gun. I think you can purchase it at Home Depot in the stores. I want to say my husband ordered it, though. I don't know if our local one has it. But it's a Ryobi cordless glue gun so it comes with like the battery pack I can put a link down to it below too but it comes with a battery pack lithium HP I don't know some kind of battery and it's long lasting I want to say a few
few hours. I don't know anybody that's going to be doing a project that's like 10 hours, but the beauty of it is my husband has other Ryobi tools. Like he has a drill, it was around here somewhere earlier, where the battery pack um, for it, so when you're done using it, I just take my battery and I put it in the charger so that the battery is charged so that I always have a glue gun ready. Being cordless is a game changer when it comes to crafting. Anything that you can do that's Bluetooth cordless, do it because it's just gonna make it go faster. And for me, when I can do something that's faster and like troubleshoot having junk and cords all over the place, just makes it more enjoyable, more fun to do. So get one of these if you do not have one. They make different ones, smaller ones too, even in the craft world, but those only last like 15 minutes off its charger. So like you have to dock it back to the charger, pick it up and use it. I didn't want that. I wanted something that I could just have it on my table and be hot and ready to go within just a few minutes. And the Ryobi one is. The other ones that are like pink and teal, they are crafters glue guns, but they have to be plugged in, or they have to be sitting in a dock, okay, which the dock is then plugged in. So think of like a phone stand that charges your phone. It has to be like that. And then when you take it out of the dock, you use it, you put it back to the dock. Well, if you don't do that or whatever, then you, you're, there's still a cord. So this one, it's truly cordless. And then you just, you can get an extra battery if you want. Or if your husband has any of those tools, get him one for Father's Day or whatever. I don't even know. And it just comes right off. And then you just put this battery in your thing. So I got two out of the deal. It was a really good Christmas gift from Hubs. And I have this little charger here. And so I actually keep it here in my little panel in my craft cabinet so I can always have one charging. I don't even know if this is my husband's, if he's watching. But this is now a part of my craft room forever. Okay. Had to share that, sorry. I know she asked a question about where I got it. So what do you guys think? Should I do the bow or no bow? Let's see what you said. I can't even, cause we're at the end here. No bow, no, it looks good like that. Okay, oh, see, in Casey's writing, she has an awesome husband just saying. Okay, yes, Casey, you're awesome, we know. Okay, so you guys said no bow, we're gonna do no bow. I'm just gonna cut a piece of some twine for my favorite, place it's not really my favorite it's just the best place to kind of shop first when it comes to crafts dollar tree and i'm going to loop in some twine through back through it you can use the same one you got from the shamrock but i'm not doing that so we have a command strip hook on our pantry door in our kitchen and i change out the what hangs on the command strip with the holidays so my kids kind of love it. They look forward to it. We take their back to school pictures in front of the in front of the pantry door. You don't see it because they're too short, but there's always some kind of decorative seasonal decor there and especially on the coffee bar. And they love it. I never got so big into decorating for the seasons if it wasn't for my kids, but now that I have them, I'm even more into it. So, here's the shamrock. I'm going to bring it around to the front so you guys can see Look at that, and that glitter and glue gun. That's that's amazing. <laughs> I'm really loving it. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you're gonna be making a shamrock. This is a little bit different, not super green. It's got the rainbow at the end. I'm kinda digging it. So next week, I'm gonna be going live. I am going to be doing an Easter craft. Now I have an idea in mind, but if there's something you guys want to see for next week's live, just leave a comment down below and let me know. It's going to be a spring Easter DIY and craft because like I said, everywhere else in my home is pretty much spring and Easter ready or getting that way. I just got my Easter stuff down and started spreading it around the house. Like there's carrots and bunnies happening everywhere and I'm more excited for that. So tell me what you want to see made. I have some ideas and we'll be doing some Easter spring crafts for the next few lives. And if you're interested in the craft kits, remember if you want one free, just share this live. Even after it's been off live, you can still share it. I'm going to be looking to see who shares and then they can be entered in for a free craft kit. 
and we will do some fun spring and Easter DIYs together. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions about my dream box, there is a code. I put it down in another post where you can get $100 off if you're considering um, getting one of these cabinets. I absolutely love mine, and I'll be posting on YouTube my video that goes into exactly how I organized it. So stay tuned looking for that. I will see you guys next time, all right? Bye-bye.